I think one of the more common things I hear people say about having pets is that losing them is the hardest part, having to say goodbye. They find the grief and loss to be so overwhelming that they often don't get another pet to avoid the heartache altogether. A little fat and yuck, buddy. Talking to me? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I do know the feeling and I dread the days ahead for when I have to say goodbye to the next one and the one after that and the one after that. But for Steve and I, we have honestly found that the best way to heal the wound is to adopt another dog, thereby making something good happen from something bad. And it does help. I know, Bear, it's so exciting. So exciting, Clyde. Oh, Lenny's coming to check it out. Steak night for you, Lenny. Steak night for you, Lenny. Yeah, little Lenny boy. Little Lenny boy. something else that always goes through my mind when I'm contemplating whether or not I can emotionally take getting another dog because it means inevitably we have to say goodbye to them is that there are hundreds of thousands of dogs out there without anyone to love them and take care of them and that it's often the people like us the ones who grieve so deeply over the loss are the ones who need to reach out and help the most so Steve and I will continue this journey for as long as possible. Okay. Okay, I won't get too close. This is like my third time trying this. <laughs> Took me a while to get him up on the couch and then every time I started to like talk and film, he was licking his butt. This is Lenny, and he seems to be a little bit uncomfortable with me doing that with him. So I am going to sit up here and just let him be. Oh boy. Okay. Respecting his space. Lenny is a dog that most of you know, some of you might not know, that we, uh, my husband Steve and I, saved him from death row. He came from uh, like animal rescue and he was set to be euthanized and we were able to stop his euthanasia about an hour or two before it was about to happen. And he is a dog that we decided to adopt after losing Scout um, over three months ago now. The best way that we have always found to heal our wounds and fill our hearts again, if you will, is to give life to another dog. And so Lenny gets a chance at life now because of Scout's passing. Mm -hmm. So we just got home from the lake. I took Lenny out to the cabin for three sleeps. So I was out there for three sleeps. Steve was out for just one sleep. And I felt honestly pretty guilty about tossing him in the truck so quickly. But what we have done with all of the dogs and the cat is we just integrate them into life as quickly as possible I feel like as long as we are with them they are with us and we're their constant um, no matter the place then it's just that's just the reality of our life we're moving around a lot going back and forth between here and the cabin and various other places so he's just gonna have to get used to it it is a pretty horrendous drive and he was pretty nervous I'm not gonna lie but I just took it really slow and we just got back um, a couple of hours ago Hi, Riley. Hi, Norton. Where's your friends? Hi, 
so good. Did you have a good boat ride, buddy? Hi, Clyde. Hi, Bear. That's okay. That's okay. <laughs> Safe. It's a little rough out there. Was it? Oh yeah, I, I did go off the well, dock. Well, I, I saw that. It's really but rough. I... Waves, there's no way I could put it in with these three. Really? These four, yeah. So I had to go over the dock, but just big waves. Not too bad now, but still. Hi, Bear. We haven't stayed at the cabin again since May, which sounds crazy, and we had the weeds to show it. But even if our stay is only for a day or two, it always does feel like we've really taken a break from the world, having no internet, no cell phone. Doing this does somehow feel like we've really realigned and reconnected with the more simple ways of going about the day. I was also very proud of how Lenny did on his first trip out to the cabin. Any cooking or baking I do out at the cabin is also very rudimentary. I don't even have a cookbook out there, so I usually just end up making things up as I go and cross my fingers and hope they turn out. Huckleberries. Nice. All huckleberries, except I threw in just a few dried cranberries. Pretty good. Is it good? Yeah, you're a good wife. Good, I'm glad. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, Lenny, he is heartworm positive. He's on doxycycline, which is just an anti-parasitic pill. So he's on those for a period of time. I'm not sure how many weeks it is, three weeks or four weeks. And then he gets an intramuscular injection to kill the heartworm. Once all of his heartworm tests come back negative, then we will schedule him to get neutered and possibly get a dental workup done because he does have a couple of teeth that look like they might need to come out. But all in all, his health is pretty good other than just he needs to put on a little bit of weight and that, um, and that's it. So a couple people might be wondering too, I know someone, one or two comments I saw in, in the previous video is about how we got him across the border and it's effortless to get them across the border most often. They did hold us up at the border this time with Lenny, but that's just because they were turkeys. All you need is a rabies. He needs to have a rabies vaccine and a proof of that. And then you should have a health certificate. They would like to see that too. And then you are paying duty on the value of the dog. But in this case, Lenny was free. Lenny didn't cost us anything. The value of the dog was $0. We did pay X amount of dollars for his transportation and some vet appointments. Um, but those are not taxable, yeah, you don't have to pay duty on those things. They tried to charge us duty on those things and kept us there for a long time, but Steve stood his ground and was like, you can't charge me on that. The value of the dog is nothing. Uh, in case anyone else would like to take a dog in from the United States into Canada, yeah, rabies and health certificate. Um, yeah, so yeah, he's about seven. We're not really sure how old he is. He, to me, he like seems like a little puppy sometimes, but he's obviously not. He's got a bit of a gray face and his teeth show that he's not young, young, but he's not old, old. So it's probably a good guess he's six, seven, eight in there somewhere. And he's a hound mix. So some sort of hound mixed with something else. Does anyone want to take any guesses? I personally think that Lenny might have a little bit of bulldog or boxer or pitbull because um, he's got quite a boxy head 
and he just to me i think he's got little pity in him which is super cute i i've had a, a lab pit bull in the past um yeah i just think that he has something because he's got kind of a big square head anyway doesn't matter he's stinking cute and that's all that matters he's so 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 sweet honestly he is a gem i don't have anything bad to say i mean we've had him for six days and he's been the easiest rescue we've ever had so far. Peed in the house twice, that's it. The only issue that I've had to work on is with Southgate, the cat. Most dogs have quite a strong instinct to chase a cat and Lenny's is quite strong. Tank and Riley, it took me a month to orientate them to Southgate and make it feel like, not feel like they were gonna kill him and that he was part of the pack and part of the family. So six days in, I think I'm about halfway there with Lenny, maybe a third of the way. So I think in one to two weeks, definitely in a month, he's gonna be good to go. So that, that's that. That's all I wanted to say. I wanted to just give Lenny his own little video and he grooms himself a lot. Do you mind? Do you mind? You could save that just for just one more minute, okay? One more minute, and then you can get back to that. Yeah, so that's all I wanted to do. He gets his own little video because he's so stinking cute, you guys. He's just friggin' adorable, and I love him to bits. And I will see you guys again in the next video. We're either going to be at the sawmill, or we're going to be out at the cabin. It's one of the two. I just don't know which I can get to first, or what makes sense. So. And then I got a birthday coming up. Ugh. So um, maybe we'll see you guys for a birthday video too. Okay, thank you guys for watching and thanks for meeting Lenny and we'll see you soon. Bye.